Now I know why so many people raved about frying chicken in an air fryer. Hello, have you ever wanted to make homemade KFC? Hmm, well, homemade KFC in an air fryer. Uh, I have heard so many rave reviews about making air fried fried chicken. So it's K-A-F-C. Yes, Kentucky air fried chicken, which an air fryer is basically a massive hair dryer. Oil to make it is optional. So it could be sensational and incredibly healthy. I don't know, I'm skeptical. I, I don't wanna be like, yeah, yeah, make it. So we're gonna find out right now. Well, in fact, we've already started this video over 24 hours ago, haven't we, Boston? What you're seeing right now is me in my dog walking gear because it was very cold yesterday morning, my woolly hat and coat on, and I wanted to marinate my chicken. So we basically get some buttermilk, got two tubs of that and shoved in my chicken drumsticks and the thighs. I loaded that bowl as much as I could to fill it, pressing it down with a spatula, covered it in cling film, and then bunged it in the fridge. And that's where it is in our fridge right there, isn't it, mate? It's been in there for about 28 hours. Ooh, that is cold. 28 hours that has been in the fridge. If you can uh, leave it for that time or overnight is, is fine. Uh, the buttermilk though, because it's uh, slightly acidic, the acidity helps to tenderize the chicken. And I was a little bit skeptical about that before. Honestly, the texture, the tenderness of that chicken that you get is mind blowing. So for the five minutes effort that took when I was wearing my coat, definitely, Definitely do it. It is worth the effort. I'm gonna keep that back in the fridge once we talk about the topping. All right, we're gonna need some salt, some garlic salt, an absolute mountain of paprika, some ground ginger. Not a big fan of this stuff, but um, hopefully the taste will get masked. Some ground white pepper, which I think I've actually just mostly inhaled. <coughs> uh, uh, oh. Some oregano, uh, some of my nickname, some basil, some thyme, mustard powder, this looks like salt, but it's actually baking powder and is optional, but apparently by adding the baking powder, it can increase the chance of getting that really nice crispy outside on it, which I am desperate. I re that's what I'm skeptical about. I really want to get that. So um, I'm definitely adding that in. So other than the buttermilk and the chicken, which you've already seen, also going to need some eggs and the flour, which is going to merge with all of those top secret spices and herbs. I love how they were like top secret and then all of a sudden they're on the internet and like everyone knows <laughs> how to make it. So this has really got to be good. Um, but flour is going to be the main thing that holds it all with it. You know it's a lot of ingredients when I run out of these little dishes, right? That's the first time ever that I've had to use all of them that I bought. So much so, I forgot we've got two more ingredients that I put to one side in some old pudding jars that we've had, okay? This is some celery salt. And this is, we've got some white pepper. This is some uh, black pepper. <laughs> so conclusion, there is an awful lot of flavor going in here. That really is a real mix of herbs and spices. There's 11 there plus the baking powder if we want. All in here. I really, really do my best not to sneeze here. <laughs> that has got some kick. But KFC does have that, doesn't it? This is the whisk worth taking. Mix that all through. That should be called KF Sleaze. Yeah, I guess you know the pepper's good when uh, <laughs> you're getting the flu mid-video. So with the egg, the flour, and our chicken here, oh yes. Obviously you need to remember this is still raw chicken, so we've got to be really careful washing our hands like absolute crazy, uh, so please make sure to do that. But just to show you, I'm holding it up that is clinging to it. You don't want too much on there. You can let a little drip off, but the fact that it's chilled, it's actually holding that pretty darn well. Looks a bit like PVA glue. <laughs> so here we go. Here is a piece of chicken and I'm gonna lay that down with my wet hand uh, into there. Trying to keep this as my wet hand. Now, if you want, you can use your clean hand to like lift flour on like this. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. It's gonna get back in here again, but we'll egg it. So we can use your wet hand and fully coat that. All right, Ooh. beautiful. And lay down again, lifting the coating on. You can either use your hand, like I say, I'm using a spoon today. You've seen me do this before. There we go. We get a lovely coated piece of chicken like this. I was doing my best not to have to clean my hands then, but I've done it anyway. Because here is a wire rack for that to rest on with a little bit of paper underneath just so I don't ruin my work surface, all right? All right, Boston, you have a little look around? <laughs> so that is basically what I'm gonna do. And if you don't have an air fryer or don't want an air fryer, of course, you can oven bake this if you want. I'd brush a bit of oil on there or of course, deep fat fry it. And I generally can't stop wanting to sneeze. I'm gonna keep repeating that with all my chicken and we'll see if this is worth it. 
Here we go then folks, mixture of drumsticks and a couple of thighs. Oh my gosh, we're getting right in here. This is looking good. And you can actually see where some of the coating has not absorbed yet. It's still on that surface, but it's all going to get cooked together. I really, really hope this is going to work because so far, so good. And I do love chicken. I feel like it's really fun to say that with this guy overlooking me. So this is the bucket of my air fryer. I've got my little plate here that goes in and because it's quite a wet mix, bacon parchment on top apparently. And we're gonna have to do this in batches. I've got quite a lot of chicken. So we'll drape it in there. Nice. Uh, I've got this feeling I'm only gonna do about three at a time, but that's all right. I'd rather that I work out if this even works first. Because if it doesn't, we're frying it normally, all right? <laughs> so we're setting it to 200C, all right? Which is literally the highest it'll go. It goes in for about 28 minutes, 14 minutes, then flip it over for another 14 minutes. So compared to frying it, a lot longer, but hopefully a lot healthier. I just hope it works. So remember, this is my 50 pounds basic air fryer it's not all frills or anything like that it's literally just a basic like, classic kitchen timer you've seen it recently when we did the bread wow it rose so much but it did the job so i guess we'll see what happens in about 14 minutes and i'm gonna spend the rest of my morning frying chicken hopefully remember there's no oil used in that at all although if we want we could use some spray oil and forget about the glossy crispy coating the thing that kind of matters to me more right now is that the chicken is actually cooked through and 28 minutes in there, I'm feeling fairly confident. It just could be naff. And that's what worries me. All right, the bell is about to go and we'll turn it over halfway. I'm not really getting that, I mean, I've been in KFC for a long time, but I'm not really getting that fried chicken smell. I'm getting like a, a spicy aroma, but that's why, oh, oh, wow. Okay, I mean, that is, Definitely a browned coating, isn't it? I'm gonna try and do this with one hand. Oh wow, and even the bottom layer is cooked slightly. A little bit of flour there, but you can see the chicken is white under that. But it did say to spray oil it if there's any flour residue, and there was definitely a bit of that there. So back going for another 14 minutes. I actually, although I've just seen it, I don't know what to think. All right, the timer just went off. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh wow, wow, wow. That is a really mixed contrast of colors there. <laughs> it smells so much like KFC now. It didn't before. It's a teeny bit drier than you'd get on fried chicken, obviously because of the complete lack of oil other than that one little bit of spray oil. But I will say that I think has helped. It's given it a slightly more like glossy edge to it. You're not getting all that oil soaking into it, but it's so hot, it's steaming up the camera lens. I'm gonna take that. Well, apart from the uh, baking parchment that was stuck on that piece. The annoying thing is, um, obviously this is a four litre air fryer. Because the cooking time is so long, if you're making it for a lot of people, the people are gonna be sat around for ages going, oh, that chicken's cooked, can I have it now? It does look like KFC the more I look at it. Maybe I'm looking at that with a slightly biased eye like that, but it smells incredible and it should be stonking. So I'm gonna cook up the rest of this chicken, the last batch will be warm, and we'll have a taste test. But uh, this is cooled down, can you see? There's a little, I'll try and get right close to this. There's a little bit of movement on there where it's formed that sort of crust on there. I think it's gonna be slightly more chewy than proper crispy, but it has got a bit of potential. Oh, and the thigh looks better the first side up like that. Oh my gosh, I am gonna take that. Got one last batch of chicken back there. So that's going in straight away. And <laughs> I mean, this is the nicest way. About an hour ago, I was desperate. I was like, oh, I'm really craving some of this chicken. And now I'm like, I'm just bored of cooking it. It's taking ages. All right. And it's the same with these ones. The second side, almost cooks a little too much like that, you see? I prefer the first bit. Like it almost looks sort of drier on that top layer as you pull it out, but the first bit that we first flipped over is a little bit of the chicken juices there. You see, it's quite dry Ooh. on that thigh. But then if I turn it over, oh my gosh, look how much moisture that is. But I'll tell you what, folks, 
that smells incredible and I am desperate to see what this tastes like, like overly hungry now. <laughs> Massive pile, it really does. Now I've got my nose right under it. Oh, it smells like fried chicken. I've gone through a real mix of emotions, like will I like it, will I hate it? I just want to try it now. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Absolutely perfectly cooked through. I think I knew it would be with that temperature for that long. But you've got the coating. It tastes incredible. You've got a chewiness and a crispiness to it. Not a huge sort of deep fried crunch, but you get that texture. You get in the flavour that that KFC like you know quite deep peppery taste. It is gorgeous. Oh my goodness! I used a bit of spray oil on the first batch only, and this one was one without. That is a lovely crust. Now I know why so many people raved about frying chicken in an air fryer. And like, this is one of the first times I've ever had fried chicken and not really got greasy fingers. This is phenomenal. I do prefer it warm though, which is hopefully how you prefer your chicken, but hey, I'll never say no to a cold chicken nugget at a kid's party. It's one of the best things over the years about being a dad at having a kid's party. Once all the kids are done, like, all right, huh, let me help you out. Nom, 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 nom. Like 100 napkins going everywhere. Like, you have got to try this. There are vegetarian alternatives, of course, but um, just wanted to go straight up to a KFC clone. KAFC, of course. So I hope you enjoyed it, folks. If you do try this recipe, send me a photo on your favorite social media platform and tag me. I'm on pretty much all of them and TikTok and Snapchat and stuff. Give the video a like and share it with some friends if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe for regular food fun. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. High five. Now, unfortunately, Boston, I'm not going to trust you with all those herbs and spices, but you can have some chicken. Okay, that's Boston approved.